Hello everyone, I'm Dr. Tushar Mehta. I'm an orthopedic surgeon and a faculty of orthopedics for the undergraduates as well as the postgraduate residents of orthopedics. Well, I'm very happy to announce that I'm coming up with a new series, with a new video series that is what I call as OPVS. Well, what is OPVS? It is Orthopedics Practical Video Series. I'll be sharing certain small as well as long videos here in which we will be discussing certain very very important questions which are usually asked by the examiners during the orthopedic practical exam so we'll be discussing not only the long cases but the short cases spotters various important typical routine viva questions implants instruments and various x-rays well i'm beginning with my first video in the series of opvs that is what is called as a typical viva question I'm sure all of you who are in their MBBS or even done with their MBBS must be aware of this topic called as osteomyelitis. One of the clinical questions, one of the clinical topics which is usually asked in the practical exam. Now in osteomyelitis, there is a very typical viva question usually asked by an examiner. That what is osteomyelitis? The typical answer by a student, sir, osteo means bone, mild means marrow, itis means inflammation. So it is an inflammation of the bone or bone marrow with superimposed infection. The second question, what is the common site? So long bones, which long bone? So femur, tibia. Out of the two, which is more common? Femur. Which part of femur? Proximal femur, distal femur. So it is usually distal femur. Okay, which part in distal femur? Epiphysis, physis or metaphysis? So metaphysis. Now comes the last question of this, you know, uh, set of, uh, you know, viva thing that why metaphysis? Everyone here should understand the metaphysical anatomy. See guys, metaphysis is a highly, 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 highly vascular bone. Now when I say highly vascular bone, that simply means that there is an abundance of the blood supply in the metaphysis. But there is one more thing which is very peculiar about the anatomy of the metaphysis. That the blood vessels in the metaphysis, they are dilated, I agree. They are tortuous, I agree. But what is most important is that they are arranged in a particular pattern. What is that particular pattern called? I'm sure you all will be able to appreciate that particular pattern. That is what is called as the hairpin loop or the hairpin bend of the blood vessels. Now, this hairpin bend of the blood vessel or loop of the blood vessel is basically because their vessels are dilated, the vessels are tortuous. Now, very interesting point for all of us to understand. There is an abundance in the blood supply. Agree. The bone is metaphysical. It is loose. It is spongy. It is cancellous. I agree. There is this bone which relatively has very less amount of phagocytic, phagocytic activity by the macrophages of the bone. I agree. But the most important part is that because of these dilated vessels, because of these tortuous vessels, because of this hairpin loop, despite we have a heavy blood flow, despite we have an abundant blood flow, but that blood has a tendency to accumulate in these bends of the vessels. And since it accumulates in the bends of these vessels, there is this one common thing that happens. What is that one common thing that happens? That the... Uh, blood goes into a state of stasis, stagnation. I'm sure all of you are intelligent enough to understand that where you have stasis, you have stagnation. Where you have stagnation, you have infection. Where you have infection, you have ischemia. And that is going to damage the blood supply of that particular area and that will allow the microorganism, which is Staphylococcus aureus, to eat that bone and create a lot of bone debris, thus leading to osteomyelitis. Apart from that, there is one more reason that I want you to understand that this area of the metaphyseal bone is usually more prone to trauma. Plus, there is a single endothelial lining also. So, I uh, will again repeat my points that in osteomyelitis, usually long bones are involved, femur tibia is involved, femur is more than tibia, distal femur is more than proximal femur, which part of the distal femur, it is the metaphysis. The reasons, the first reason is it is prone to trauma. The second reason is phagocytic activity is less. The third reason is bone is loose, bone is spongy, bone is cancellous. The fourth reason is that despite there is an abundance of the blood supply, but since the blood vessels are arranged in more of a dilated and tortuous form, which is what is called as hairpin loop, so despite we have a high blood supply, but that blood has a tendency to accumulate inside those bends and curves of those hairpin loops, and that accumulation of the blood in that area will lead to stasis, will lead to stagnation, will lead to infection, will lead to ischemia, will definitely lead to 
the underlying necrosis of the bone leading to formation of a lot of bone debris so my dear students this is one typical set of questions which is usually asked by the examiner in the practical exam uh, the examiner will start like this as I've already told you that what is osteomyelitis which are the common bones which are part of the bone and then why so I would like to also add one more thing here that if you reach the stage of why that means definitely you have passed that exam or you have passed that particular case or question or topic and not only if you will answer why metaphysis then probably you'll get the highest marks you know from that very examiner if he gets convinced by what you have said so I want you to remember all the reasons they will help you not in your and not only in your practical exam but also in your theory as well so thank you so much and i'm glad again i would be you know happy to share with all of you that this was the first video that we did a very brief small video snippet on a frequently asked question in one of the practical exams of orthopedics so here we announce you know the commencement the beginning of opvs that is the orthopedics practical video series with our first video stay tuned guys i'll be coming up with more videos soon thank you so much bye bye have fun and stay safe thank you